Hey everyone, so here's a question on linear equation and this kind of questions are really important for two or three marks. The question here is, sum of three consecutive numbers is 33, find the numbers. So what do you mean by consecutive? So when you're adding a three consecutive numbers, since they have given sum, sum means when we're adding up. Sum of three consecutive number is 33. So when you're adding a three consecutive number, the answer should be equal to 33. But what are these consecutive numbers? Consecutive numbers are nothing but the one which comes next immediate. For example, the consecutive numbers of 4 will be 4, 5, 6, 7. So after 4, what we get? So we cannot skip a number in between. For example, 4, 6, 8. They are not consecutive because I have skipped one number. 5 is missing here, 7 is missing here. This, this will not make them consecutive numbers. Consecutive means one just after the other number. It can start from any number like 100, 101, 102, so on like that. So here, we don't know what are the three consecutive numbers. When you're adding up, it should be 33. So let's start finding the solution here. So since all the three numbers are unknown to us, we have to assume a variable. So let me assume my first number in these three consecutive, let us assume that first number to be x. Okay, So first number is x. Now to clarify this, let me take a small example. Suppose my first number is 1. Okay, This is just assumption. I'm just explaining you how we can take a consecutive numbers. The first number is 1. The next consecutive number will be 2 and the next will be 3 and the next will be 4 and so on. Now since they are asking only 3, so I'm going to stop up to 3. Now suppose my first number here I've taken is 1 and in this question we don't know what is the first consecutive number so for that case I have taken x. Now what will be the next consecutive number if the first number is x? So for that let us take this example 1, 2 and 3. So to this one how much I have to add to get 2? It is again plus 1. If I add 1 I'll get the next number. Again to this 2 how much I should add to get 3? Again, if this is plus 1. So if you keep on adding a 1, 1 to the next number, you will get the next consecutive number. Similarly, suppose my first number is x, my second consecutive number will be, I'm going to add a 1 to this x. So since we cannot add them because x is variable and 1 is constant, the second consecutive number will be x plus 1. Now what will be third one? So to this again you add one other one. So x plus 1 plus 1. So 1 plus 1 you have to add the constant. It will become 2. So next consecutive number will be x plus 2. So like that we got three consecutive numbers. First one is x. Second one is x plus 1. Third number is x plus 2. If you want the next consecutive number, that will be x plus 3. Just add 1 to this x plus 2, you will get the next one. That's it. So we got the three consecutive number. We're going to form a linear equation and then we're going to find the answer for x. So let's start this. So let the first number be x. Let the first consecutive number B x. If the first number is x, then second number will be x plus 1. Then third number will be same. Third consecutive number will be x plus 2. So we got the three number x, x plus 1, x plus 2. Now they say sum of the three numbers. Sum means addition. So when I add this all the three consecutive numbers, the sum is equal to 33. So here we're going to form a linear equation. So when I add them up, I'll get x, the first number. Then the second number is x plus 1 plus the third number is x plus 2. So I'm adding a three different consecutive numbers here. I got x, the next number is x plus 1 and the next one is x plus 2. Now when you add this three consecutive number, the sum is equal to 33. It's given the question. So when you add this three, it should be equal to 33. Now this is a linear equation we got. We have to find the value of x. So you have to just add the constants and the variable. So you can see we have a 3x here, x plus x plus x. We're adding a 3x here, so the answer will be 3x. 
plus now add the constant constant we have is 1 and then 2 so 1 plus 2 is 3 which is equal to 33 now to solve this equation we're going to transpose the variables to the one side and constants to the one side so here we have only one variable which is x and the, the coefficient is 3 I'm going to transpose this 3 to the other side the constants to the one side that is to the right hand side so this will become 3x is equal to 33 so 3 when you transpose to other side the sign will change it comes to negative so it will become minus 3 so 33 minus 3 is 30 so we'll get x 3x is equal to 30 now I want only the value of x I don't want this coefficient 3 here so when you transpose a number which is in multiplication to the other side it comes in division so here x will be equal to 30 divided by 3 now cancel the number 3 ones and then 3 tens are 30 so therefore we got x value is equal to 10 so the first number is 10 so here I'm gonna write down the value of x is equal to we got here is 10 now what will be the next number it's x plus 1 which is 10 plus 1 which will be 11 so next consecutive number will be 11 then next is x plus 2 so x is 10 so 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 so 10 11 12 are the three consecutive numbers when you add them you will get 33 you can add the numbers you can check 10 plus 11 plus 12 you'll get 33 so this is how you can solve the problem. I hope this is clear. If you have any questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.